Mr. President, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the African Group members of the Executive Board, I wish to extend the group's deepest sympathies to the family, loved ones, colleagues, and staff of UNFBA following the sudden passing of our brother and colleague, Professor Babatunde Osetiman. This is a truly difficult time for all of us who knew him and were touched by his many years of public service. The UN family has lost a leader and a dedicated servant. Professor Babatundu was a strong advocate for the rights of all people, especially women, girls, and children to whom he dedicated most of his working life. In seven short years, as the head of UNFPA, he has completely revolutionized the way we perceive and deal with issues of rights of those far left behind and worked hardly to bring these issues onto the mainstream. Mr. President, Professor Babatundu was globally recognized for his leadership of the UN Population Fund and for his advocacy for the world, for the world's women and girls in particular. He was a visionary leader who carried along with him his passion and hard work. He was an elder of, of the African group and true son of Africa. He was known as a hands-on leader who was always at the for forefront in advocating for the rights of others. He helped the world advance the outcomes of the 1994 Cairo Program of Action on Population and Development. Mr. President, we are sure that UNFPA will honor his legacy by, by diligently work to achieve the 2030 Agenda and leaving no one behind. All of us are pleased to have interacted and experienced his passion and grace. He will be missed, but his legacy will live on in the hearts of the countless people whose lives were touched and transformed. At the time of sorrow, allow me to reiterate that the group's thoughts are with Professor Babatunde's family, particularly his wife and children, and all others affected by this loss. Sincere condolences goes to his family, to the staff of the UNFPA, to the government and people of Nigeria, to executive board members, and to the whole UN staff. Thank you.